Hello guys, how's it going? We are back in Chroma Endless. I'm just now realizing that you can see the whoopee cushion on our head, so that's always a fun thing. And boy, do we have an episode. Holy cow, have are things gonna be crazy this episode? Don't look at that. <laughs> wrong button. Wrong button, wrong button. So, I looked into the pedestals, right? I tried really, really hard to understand what the heck was going on. I watched some videos. I don't know why there's XP there. That's kind of weird. But I watched videos about it. I did so much stuff. And I finally understand um, the janky system that they run on. I, I finally understand it. I get it. Um, I, I not thinking, trying to test. I put the pedestal next to our little coal bees over there and we we got a lot of coal honeycombs <laughs> um there was like a hundred or tw 120 or something of them that were just kind of stuck in there so if we look at the i think i actually just hello that was really weird uh i've cleared out most of the chunks but we're still like already back up to 67 and we still have stacks upon stacks of coal honeycombs it's understandable. Um, I mean, I did come down and I fixed this. Um, okay, well, I haven't fixed the spiders yet. Those need to fix. But um, I just set it up so that way all the armor goes into this drawer and then that automatically gets deleted. Nothing new has been added in forever, so I highly doubt that we're actually going to find anything. And then we just have a bunch of the jelly babies. I, I don't see us needing too much else in there, so, but if the time comes, then the time will come. We have chickens, we got tons of feathers, I had tons of books, I went through tons of levels and did tons of enchanting. Um, I did change this up a little bit, I got all of these to the element containers instead of the small ones, and then all of them now have improved element extractors. Um, I set up quite a few pure crystals. Did I stick them in the backpack? No. Oh, they're right there. Pure, pure crystals. Uh, our time is up to three hours and 20 minutes, so that's fun. Um, I did also learn that these things, they dry out. Like, if you use them too much, like I was making a lot of pure crystals at one time. I just go and go and go and go and go and um, Multiple of them just kind of like went away, and then they were just kind of like sitting there. It was kind of weird like you couldn't extract anything for them and then you had to wait for them to come back um, I took away our beautiful bee thing here because that's what we're gonna be working on we're gonna work on that setup okay on to the last couple of things here I want that it just looks like this whole thing is gonna break. It is. Okay. Let's stop. Okay, and then let's get out some flame lilies. Basically that little tube thing wasn't letting us, it wasn't letting us get to the full five pressure but this should let us and we're gonna get to this dimension today so there we go okay so we'll put some in there and we'll put some in there and things should start going back up again I guess we can go ahead and stick them in there as well. Worst comes to worst, we can always take our safety tube and stick it on, and then that should help lower the pressure. Hopefully we won't need that though. It's going up at a decent rate. Okay, but then yes, I figured out some of the pedestal stuff. What else have I done? Um, I don't think I did too much else. Yeah. 
Not not too much else. Can I still? Yeah, that can happen. I'm gonna be honest. I I didn't expect to get here. This is not what I expected. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set in. That's the export. And we don't want this, we want to only export the crafted bits. Okay, and if we stick those in there. They should go in, okay. It's cool how it has that little animation to it. Okay, we're up to... Where did those items go? Excuse me? Oh, I guess we hit that pressure. Okay, we'll stick that back. Uh, we're also going to take out the extra thing at least. So that way we don't have to listen to that constantly go. Okay. Um, I guess we can put this over here for the moment. So if we just... Do we shift click it? Well, this is a fun place for Batania flowers. I mean, holy cow. Just Batania flowers and nothing else. I guess Drigmies are sp or yeah, those are Drigmies, I think. So then if we do... Just get it down here, you know. Just has flatbed rock. Yeah, I'd imagine that this is going to be a nice little world. Pretty nice indeed. Well, now I have a better place to go mining. Um, and then it sounded like we could actually take that and put it in the nether as well. And then that would do stuff in the nether for us. Could be fun. Okay. But on to the highlight of the day. Actually, let's let's make sure that the last little bit of our stuff is going to be away that we don't need. Um, I guess we don't really need the pure crystals. Okay. We take our beautiful pedestal and we take this. We need our wonderful tools. We're gonna need our bees. These are the only three that I've grabbed just at the moment. Obviously, we're going to set up more. We have our drawers. Okay. Where the heck am I going to put this? Because this is going to be a wild place to go. Um, underground would probably be the best location, if I'm going to be honest. But for now, we're going to stick it here. Maybe. So, the, apparently the whole thing is you have to take it and you put it in your other hand. And then you just go boop. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> it was all that time for really not much return, but there's not much we can do about that. I could have sworn that I had a tier... Oh, is that the tier 2 beehive? I don't know why they need the two tier 2 beehive, but... How do we make the next beehive? It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, I mean... I'm just conflicted about it. 
there are multiple things that I want to do that I'm just not quite sure what the best method to do it is. Can we take a... Do we have any more solar? No, we don't. Okay. Can we make one of these? What are we missing? We're missing two blocks of lead. That's really easy. I, what I want to do is take the centrifuge away. Because I want to automatically centrifuge items. Which is kind of a wild idea. Because there's so much that can go wrong with it. But I think I think it'll be what's best. That one beehive just doesn't work. I do know that. Because it goes in a 3x3 three three area. So 1, 2, 3. And if we put the beehives here. Um, which one? We need a lot of mana steel. So we're going to try the mana steel bee. So we stick that there, right? Just go boop. Will it go into the right hive that we want it to go into? This is really the big question here. If we do... Boop. It has zero hives to harvest. We'll see how it does, though. And then obviously we can do, like... Terra Steel... We can do an iron one. One, two, three. I'm just trying to figure out like where exactly this three by three range ends. Because it looks like it ends here. So we can probably put one more there. Wait. One, two, three. So the beehive would be here. Yeah, that should work. Okay, and then one, two, three. Of course, this torch is in the way. As they always are. There should be like a one block space, so it should go there. One, two, three. So like there? Oh, 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 oh. This is being really glitchy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it just goes that and then two there. And two there. And then it can go, we can, I mean, we can always enchant this upgrade as well as how it works. You can enchant it to get like a higher or lower space, or it can go even wider. I was just thinking like, this is going to be a good, and then we can stack this up, obviously. Um, let's look at the glass that we have though. Some extra glass would have been nice. I just know how bees like to wander off, so enclosing this, also probably not a bad idea. Um, we can stick one in there. And then obviously we can get loads more glass, we can get sand bees, we can... There, there's so much that we can do to make this better. And it's turning night, so this bee isn't going to be working. I'm just hoping that this is going to work. This is kind of where I'm at. Like, there's there's a lot that could easily go wrong with this. Um, so it should go under... 
We could probably just put like an iron. Can we do a barrel? I would much rather do an iron barrel than anything. Is this the iron barrel? Yeah. Okay, so if we stick that down. I think it's items should just go in there. I have no clue if that is right though. It's very hard to gauge exactly what happens. Yeah, and that can be changed into molten. That changes into molten glass. And then the molten glass, if you cast it, goes to clear glass. Okay. So then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna start filling it with sand. Flip that on. Flip that off. And that'll now just start going. Do they need to be smoked? Is the next question. For them to not get angry. Probably. So we can go ahead and add in a lot of those as well. We do that so the beauties don't get hurt. Honey level three. Just want the confirmation that this will do what I want it to do. Is kind of what I'm waiting around for, because I I don't know if it will. Sorry, forgot to put that down. There we go. The clear glass doesn't take long to fill, so that should be going pretty quickly. Honey level three. I'm really hoping that this works. Even if the visual glitches are so wonky. And then I guess we can work on some pipes. Um, we're going to need item pipes. Well, that ended quickly. <laughs> uh, what do we need? We need we need glass. Okay. So we need normal glass as well as fancy glass. Got it. So we'll go ahead and we'll have that smelt up. A lot of glass. Honey level four. Does it go honey level 5? Is that what they do? I'm gonna assume yes. That is what it does. Okay, so we still have a little bit more to do. And then the other thing that we're gonna need with these item pipes... I guess it really doesn't matter at the moment, at least. Oh, I forgot that I made all these ores. Or all the ingots. And we'll put the normal beehive in there as well. Okay. 
There's 16 pieces of glass at least. That should get us enough for what we want. Okay, and then we're also going to need a fluid pipe. Slime steel is a very interesting one. A seared brick, sky slime. Do we have a seared brick? We do have a seared brick. Um, I did make lots of iron, so we should have that. Alright, that's all that was. Yeah, okay. Please work. You worked earlier. And take off all of these. The B is in it. Does it need to be one closer? I know that I had this worked out. Does it need a shear on it? Or does it have to be a normal beehive? See, this is so crazy, because I know, I know for a fact that we had this down. Ow. Let's just stop it, go back to your stinking hive. Get out of his aggro range, and then he can't do anything. I know for a fact that I had this fixed. I don't know what that what it was though. Man, the. <laughs> These are just so dumb. Are you, are you getting it, little buddy? No, you aren't. Come, come here. Um, there is a singular block of mana seal that you can work with right there. That's that's it. That's all you have, my guy. Where's the iron bee? Iron bee, you go. Okay, well, you at least get the gist of what's going on. And then we're gonna take... Yeah, that one's the barrel. And then we're basically just gonna take these item pipes and run them
guess we're gonna run them one farther down. And we can run them outside of this little bubble. Where'd they... let's sleep again. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Like, the pedestals, I, I did, I finally got them to work, and then now that they were working and I was so excited to show everyone just what they could do, of course, now they don't work anymore. Um, we can probably just bring it to, like, here. Like, we can probably just bring it to, <laughs> bring it to here. That was like actually the perfect amount of pipes. And then we can stick the centrifuge right up on top of it. That'll bring all of the honeycombs right to here. Was there something else that I did to it to make it work? I don't think so. Let's bring it over here. We do boop. There's so clearly a beehive to harvest right there. Because you take it and you go bam. Okay, well, if I get it working, you guys will know, because it'll be in the next episode. So I am tired of not having bee production, because bee production is going to be so necessary that we need it for future items moving. Like, So it's not like it's something that we can just kind of not pay any attention to. Well, I guess we can stick it there. Um, and then we did want to make the fluid pipe that requires the slime steel. So we'll come over here and we can induction furnace that. For a couple ingots. There's some normal glass. This should be close to done with the sand, I guess. Maybe not. It's given us a decent bit. I don't happen to have a wand, do I? We don't happen to have any wands, do we? We do. in our tool bag. I'm surprised that this beehive is not ready yet. Unless this is actually doing what we want it to do now. That bee's just very slow. Okay, and then I guess we need a trash can, a fluid trash can. Use one of our mini, 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 mini buckets. Okay, we'll come over here. We will get this beautiful slime steel. 
and then we need at the pipes and to need that's an elite fluid pipe basic fluid pipe we need the iron gears those in there. I also moved the gigantic honeycomb drawer over to here. I don't know why, but you know, it just seemed like that would be one of the better places for it, I suppose. Okay. Boop. Then we're gonna need two of these, which we're gonna need iron plates for. Holy cow, are we running out of literally everything. Oh my gosh. How do you make the andesite alloy? Andesite and iron nuggets. We have iron nuggets, so we're good there. Just need andesite, iron nugget, and nugget. There we go. Okay, stick that in there. There's some casings. We were also missing piston extension poles. One of the most bizarre things to be missing. <laughs> now we're out of small cogs. And we're gonna need some steel. That's fraud. No, that that's all of our normal steel. This is why we need beasts, because we're struggling. Like, all of our resources are very dwindling, we aren't really getting a lot, and so steel bees, mana steel bees, terra steel bees, Gaia bees, there's a ton of stuff that we could do that would be greatly, like, very, very helpful. Okay, so we're gonna need another three. Two... Three. And that gives us both of our extractors. Okay. Okay. So fluid. No, no, that no. That's not at all what we wanted. Fluid will go there. I guess I have to dig back under here for a second. That will... That will go there. So now all the fluid should immediately just put in that trash can. Um, I guess we're going to need one more to get an item, like get another item set out. Excuse me? No, you, no. You will go into that beehive. Don't pretend like you know what you were doing. I will break out the honey tool. He went back in there. Why do you choose to go in this one? I 
I just want to see if this beehive will work better than that beehive. But then we have an incredibly not smart bee who has no clue what the crap he's doing. I mean, at least we've gotten other things done. That's, that's all that I can say. We've at least done some things. You. Your hive is going to be... You. Hive is going to be there. You, you got that? Okay. I believe he did go in there now. Now the only question left is how to get that to do what we need it to do. So I'll be honest, the way that we, the way that I did it was that it was literally just, I, I stuck it down, I put the thing on it, and then it just, boop, went, and everything was all good. So... What am I doing differently this time? That it does not know what to do. That is the question. has zero hives to harvest. Excuse me? Did I just put it too far out of range? Is that really what happened? I just put it slightly too far out of range? Hello? Man, I wish I understood. <laughs> half of this stuff. Oh, can we get a, a bottle? I would like to drink the mana steel, please. It only gives us mana steel nuggets. Which would, could definitely be better. But I mean, if it's running all the time, and then we just get stacks upon stacks of the nuggets. I mean, who's to say anything different, right? And it can give us beeswax and a 10% chance for the. Hey, mana steel. Feather feet. Does that mean. Is that gonna let us fly or something like that? I would love to know if this is gonna start spitting out more stuff. Is that considered one, like one, two, three? That might be how it's doing it. Which wouldn't be optimal, but I guess is completely fine and acceptable. We just need them to have at it again. Make your honey. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. So, would the compacting drawer... Would that allow us to... Wow, that is a bunch of stuff. 
two pistons. If we compacting drawer this, I guess technically this is going to need an item pipe thingamabob. Uh, <laughs> one of these. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's so hard to control sometimes. We need another set of the item pipes as well. And then once this is over, we're done. Like I'm just, we're, we just need to double check this little bit. There's some more item pipes. I don't know what this iron bee is doing, but he's not doing whatever it is he's supposed to be doing. Actually, here, let's break this. We're gonna put... a drawer controller on there. And then can we just do boop? Boop. And then can we stick it on top of it? It, okay. You know, that's... Yep, that works. I guess we could technically put, like, an absorption hopper in the middle, and that would let everything go towards the middle. Or I think we could apply a secondary upgrade where, like, it would allow it to bring stuff in. This, I mean, it's definitely good that it's working now, at least, though. That's better than nothing. And now we're going to have a really, really, really good system to just do crazy amounts of stuff. If we bring this out... Oh, that... Oh, my gosh. That's so good. That's so good. If it even lets us, like, do the beeswax, we can do so many compacting drawers. It's kind of upsetting that they're so... expensive, because that would be a lot of pistons, a lot of andesite. Oh no, it's any stone. Okay, well then that's just a lot of pistons. but honestly could definitely be worth it. As long as these bees don't freak out and they're able to keep their hive positions, which I think they do typically pretty well at keeping hive positions, I think the biggest issue that they typically have is keeping block positions. Because that's often what messes up with those guys over there, which I do still have over there for a reason, because we do still need a couple of more of the blocks and stuff, but it would be very, very nice if they were able to keep their hive positions. We might also just grab this guy real quick and switch out these lovely little blocks just for now but yeah hello sorry we're gonna stick you there now and your hive is going to be there okay so as soon as this guy comes back out then we're gonna have our next set of mana iron nuggets bits 
this has me really excited because this will mean a like well one we're gonna have a gigantic stack of just bees i've really taken to the flying if you guys haven't noticed um but so the other thing we are able to do is if we come over here if you come down into pedestals LMNOP. We can do pedestal magnets, which pick up items in their work area. That'll be very helpful. And then we can also do pedestal advanced, which is I think that's outputs. So like we would be able to tell it, hey, put it directly in that little chest right there kind of a thing. Okay, once this bee leaves, we will see if this works. And if it works, oh my gosh. Why? Does it legitimately have to be right up next to it? I'm so confused. Okay, well, we're gonna... <laughs> Does this not say that it works in a three by three? Area affected three by three. Or is this the three by three? Like one, two, three. So that would be really crappy if that was the three by three. I bet that's what it is actually though. Like we have one, two, three, one, two, three, three by three. I was thinking like one, two, three, out, and by three, out. I guess, technically speaking, that does math better if it's... Okay. Okay, well, at least we have an answer. We can get there. Um, I'm going to work on setting up a lot more of this, and I'm going to work on doing stuff like that. Because that'll be... Oh, boy, will that up our production. Like, an insane amount. Good to know. Good, good to know. Oh, hello. Some of it does come out in chunks, though, which is going to be an interesting loop. Which will be an interesting ride. Like, knowing, okay, so blah, 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 you know. Is that saying like we have one and seven? I don't really know how the stack limit works. Is it like 128 blocks? Is it 128 ingots? I guess it'd probably be 128 blocks. 128 stacks of blocks. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll look into that, but for now, that will be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. Any tips or tricks would be greatly, greatly appreciated, obviously, since we took this long just to figure out a B setup. <laughs> but yeah, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.